Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I want to thank you to the organization for this uh, fantastic conference. I am very happy. It's the first time um, we will go and present this uh, network because it's uh, really brand new. It's six months old. The network, you will see that the people who are involved with are older than six months. And so uh, the conference for, for me and for us, I hope, it's uh, been really successful. So, first of all, um, we want to remark that the network has been uh, uh, mounted, uh, taking in account this, um, the European 2020 strategy, strategy okay, who are, um, who achieve to M, to M, um, uh, to be, uh, a more a, a smart, a smarter, inclusive, and sustainable growth for Europe. So uh, we want to take all this idea down to our network. Okay. So uh, in our network, we have um, we have uh, following the, the idea of the quadruple helix. Um, so um, some research groups and research centers from involved in terms uh, in digital humanities. Of, this, uh, of the Autonomous University of Barcelona, wanted to increase the number of uh, digital humanities uh, projects and wanted to increase the, their visibility. Uh, for that purpose, um, they, they, they create, or we create this uh, network, and it was a bottom-up network, and it, uh, it's been helped by the research area of the university where I belong, okay, the research and transference area. So uh, the objective, the main objective of this uh, network is to articulate our capabilities, okay? The capabilities of research centers, research groups, Sentai effect, and technical services, technological parts, and major infrastructures, what we have. And, um, uh, and make some activities, some more activities on digital humanities. So, we pretend to increase our competitiveness and join our efforts in the terms of visibility, coordination, and sharing our resources and our information, as you can see. So at uh, the beginning, we start to mount a kind of cluster on digital humanities and digital heritage. It's, it's a subset, as you will, uh, of digital humanities, where the four major um, uh, parts of the quadruple helix uh, uh, has been they have been involved uh, from just to uh, innovation from the research centers to uh, try to um, uh, to bring back on board uh, to bring on board uh, the so the regional and local uh, administration uh, the industry and the uh, stakeholders or the community okay the social community uh, I'm because the, the kind of, uh, of conference uh, we are here now, uh, I want to focus more on the part of the network of the university and the part, as we have seen, of the research network that um, has these four major parts. So from we are the, the big the big part is the research centers, okay, and the research groups and the uh, researchers in, involved in, in, in that. And uh, we have from one side the network coordination, who is uh, leaded by Alicia Fornes and Ramon Valdez, who are uh, researchers, one from the Computer Business Center and the other from the Spanish Philology Department, and me as a technical coordination, that me who belongs, I belong to this strategic development unit on the research area of the university. The idea is that uh, uh, we work together with uh, our national international project office to get more uh, and to apply to European and national projects. We work also with our university research park who is more in charge of uh, that part of industry and uh, the collaboration with the SMEs and uh, with the gover government of the university, so this is the best deputy of research and transference. Okay, our, we are really young. Uh, on our governance model is just that we are in contact all together through email discussion group, and we have several 
we had one, so now it's the second one, this six month assembly to put all the, uh, all our goals and to try to to govern, to have a, a kind of uh, assembly government. Uh, the network has these four main activities, okay, on preservation, research and innovation, training in digital humanities and dissemination. And as you can see, those are the main fields of, uh, of our researchers on our research group, who was from humanities and social science until ICT uh, research. Here you can see some, some of them from the, the part we, we consider humanities. In some cases they are mixed, okay, but we, we just for the presentation we need to... Uh, so you, you, you see the several um, different kind of uh, topics from these uh, research groups. And those you have some, some more from, some, from uh, translation, people who are dealing with universal accessibility, you have uh, the, humani the, library, the, li the humanities library of the university, uh, okay, archaeology, uh, story, okay, and archives and document management school, and some of the four IST, ICT members of you can see the Institute of Arti Artificial Intelligence Research or the Graphic Visualization and Modeling uh, Research Group. And okay, we are we don't have to forget the, the other three members of this quadruple helix, and that we want to want to be involved and, and really they are involved in through the projects, okay, like the industry as we talked together also uh, yesterday, um, like some digi digital uh, technology industries, main industries who are very close from the university. Our university is a major campus and it's outside from uh, um, Barcelona. We, have like, we are like a city of uh, 50,000 50, people every day. Uh, and uh, so around the university, there's a technological parks with some of these uh, digital tech uh, industries uh, placed. So they are really near. Um, so, and also with, uh, uh, we want to, we, our aim is to be very territorial. So our uh, uh, surrounding area. And we are focused not only in Barcelona, we are focused also in main regional in Catalonia. So in our projects are involved the Catalan government and so super regional uh, government is called Diputació de Barcelona, as well as local consortium and the municipalities as you will see. And also inside of the project there, a project or inside the, 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 the cluster, we have this uh, formal and informal education uh, partners, okay, as, as well as associations of uh, send, uh, local association and foundations, and the topic of we are working, we are talking. Uh, concerning in the, the part of training, we have this uh, master degree in digital humanities. Eh? Uh, unfortunately, uh, this year it was not possible to 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 put it uh, to, to to work on it because there was only three three uh, students who want to do the master's degree. So we have to rethink again our, our and we are, make, we are doing it. Okay, we have, uh, we participate in a master's degree in virtual archeology span and a master's degree in artistic heritage who has a strong uh, uh, part on digital musicology, as you will see. And we have also this master's degree, it's called Tradomatica, who is translation technologies, okay. And uh, at least, at least um, we, uh, we, uh, we have this entrepreneur program uh, that uh, finished uh, last month. And it's a program who is focused on uh, pre-doc and post-doc um, uh, studies or researchers uh, to aim them uh, and to train them in the, in the, in the area of the entrepreneurship. Just okay, and to link the research with um, the the industry. Uh, just for an example, um, um, so the idea is that the industry uh, puts some uh, offers some uh, sponsorship and offers some challenges that the students working in uh, groups of tra trans um, uh, trans top, uh, transdisciplinary groups working together and try to get a response or offer a response of, of that challenge. And 
the it is it's like kind of uh, have you have some prizes and so the 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 last who won the first who won it was just uh, um, a group who wants to create a, a, um, um, an enterprise on uh, um, uh, automatic uh, transcription on uh, handwritten documents okay so uh, you, you can see the kind of uh, projects that are um, goes um, uh, in in this direction uh, because uh, the dissemination, dissemination activities we are we have been we have been uh, doing, uh, and we're gonna uh, do in the future is uh, our presentation of uh, digital heritage, uh, digital humanities projects that, that that are involved in the network, and as well as doing these internal workshops and symposia. Uh, we want also, and we, we did some conferences by the digital humanities specialists. Okay, and uh, this. Um, very oriented to predoc uh, conferences uh, on digital humanities also just to get, trying to respond to something that has been uh, here um, put on, on the table it's the idea of we need training on humanities uh, training to people who, who are in humanities on this digital uh, area no? so uh, the future it starts to join to international associations Okay, and we are working as with uh, with um, Elena also from idea to to Spain to be involved in Daria Europe, and also the future pass through uh, the creation of uh, digital managers of an access lab, who are we are mm, working on that. We are really working hard on that, trying to involve, involve in this faculty of philosophy, school of computer sciences, residence of friends area, the humanities library of the university and the computer center, computer vision center. We have this space that the university wants to create a new space, a new, uh, like a new living lab on digital humanities. And so we are working on that and trying to get some fundings. We have uh, the people, as you will, will see now, we have uh, some ideas and we want to, to to, to create a space, an open space for the research groups and also for uh, uh, students to, to work on digital humanities. So, uh, very quickly, the main projects that we have and we collect, so we are strong, really strong on these areas, I will pa pass quickly, okay, uh, are on, on more or less those um, uh, uh, main areas. Uh, first of one, of all, this is a digitation for preservation and research. We have several several projects on, on, on these areas. One is, we are very happy on one of uh, one of them. This is this pianola roll digitizer. Okay, that it's been developed by the uh, music uh, uh, the music department, the musicology department, and the computer vision the computer vision center. And it, it's it's been working real good. We have also not bad databases here. You have uh, some of them from radiometric databases, atlas of material pathologies, databases on uh, manuscripts and databases on music catalogs, etc. <laughs> we have these uh, bibliographic databases that uh, since, uh, for example, Trices was born in 1987, okay? And uh, we, have, we are very happy also of our, our digital repository who is the largest repository in, in, in Spain, an university repository, who has more than 4.5 million of uh, consuls and uh, more than 150,000 uh, registers inside. So our, all our um, digital um, documents are placed in this digital repository and as the major part of the, the groups you've seen are working with them in, uh, in, in this repository. Um, we are also strong. Uh, we have several projects on digital, we call it digital museology. Okay, so uh, to do this kind of project, we have to work, uh, we need to work uh, really close with um, uh, local municipali municipalities and local governments. Okay, that's our, also our way of transference of social transference. 
And uh, we have uh, not bad um, groups and projects doing social simulation. Some of them using uh, uh, virtual walls as, um, for example, Second Life, to to try to to rec not recreate, to study, to investigate on crowd, um, uh, on cr um, crowd analysis, and I think it's really interesting. And also these digital critical editions from from various uh, research groups. We have this electronic jo journal dedicated uh, specifically to this. Uh, digital critical edition in Ibero-Roman languages. And we are also very proud of our library, Living Lab, who is next to the university, is in a library who is in a town called San Cugat del Vallès. And it's an open library who has a Living Lab inside, uh, developed by the Computer Vision Center and uh, with the university, or you can uh, we can uh, t uh, try to to um, when we um, um, make some uh, uh, investigations on people engagement and and how they use the technology on on the in, in a in a in a library inside the library, and that's what one the the. the this is one of the most uh, important uh, uh, projects to develop the, the open access uh, living, uh, digital humanities living lab. So we are also strong in art in uh, automatic translation in different languages. Automatic recognition of handwritten documents. We have a ERC project, it's called Five Centuries of Marriage, so we can study uh, very similar, and we we have we saw yesterday. We can study names, and uh, and we are studying names and and and, and dates of uh, these uh, 500 years of marriage in in Barcelona. And uh, also, we have uh, several projects on kind of digital archaeology and uh, digital geography, uh, with these three uh, big groups who works on the university. Uh, at least, uh, also, uh, we are strong on uh, universal accessibility and video games also working on translations and museums and, and virtual worlds, okay? So that it's, uh, we try that working together, every one of the projects will take in account this, this topic. And at, for least, um, we were working with the uh, uh, Catalan Wikipedia Foundation, called Amical Wikimedia, in several projects. Uh, try to disseminate uh, and try to to get into the you know, uh, universal and collective knowledge through uh, these three uh, big uh, projects who are led uh, by the university, or the research group from Oval Network. Uh, from classical uh, studies to archaeology or mus uh, music uh, studies. And we are using the Wikipedia not also for our research dissemination, also for training and, and, and I think that's all. Thank you very much.